It's time to use your brand new Mighty M pressure washer. You've read the manual and you're ready to start using it. As you attempt to start your pressure washer by pulling out the engine recoil rope, it only pulls out a short distance and then will not pull out any further. Unfortunately, the unit may have been tipped over in shipping and oil got into the cylinder area. This video will show you how to remove the air filter and spark plug so the oil can be pushed out of the cylinder area. Since oil may stream out of the engine, it is recommended that this procedure be performed on a covered area for ease of cleanup. You will need these tools, a tarp or cardboard, 10 millimeter wrench, a ratchet, a spark plug socket on a 3 8 extension, a cloth for wiping up oil, a container for excess oil, gasoline or carburetor cleaner, and extra oil. First, locate and remove the air filter cover wing nut, and then pull off the air filter cover. Then, remove the air filter steel wing nut and the air filter assembly. Separate the two parts and inspect the foam filter for oil saturation. A light oil film is normal. Inspect the pleated filter for oil. There should not be oil on the pleated filter. Replace with a new filter assembly if necessary. Make sure the gas lever is in the off position. Remove the drain plug of the carburetor bowl with the 10 millimeter wrench, draining any oil that may be in the bowl into a container. Open the gas lever to allow some gas to flush the bowl clean. Turn the gas lever to off and install the carburetor drain plug. Next, remove the spark plug cap and remove the spark plug by turning the ratchet counterclockwise. Place a cloth covering over the spark plug port, since some oil may come out. Slowly pull two to three times on the engine recoil rope. Now, continue by pulling the recoil rope 15 to 20 times as fast as possible. Be aware that a stream of oil may come shooting out of the spark plug port. Next, inspect the tip of the spark plug for oil residue. Clean it with gasoline or carburetor cleaner. Reinstall the spark plug by threading the spark plug by hand or with a socket on a 3 8 extension making sure to not cross-thread. Tighten until snug with the ratchet. Push the spark plug cap straight onto the spark plug until it snaps completely onto the spark plug. Check the engine oil level, making sure it is to the full mark on the dipstick. Some pump oil may have also been lost, so check the level and add oil to the correct level, if necessary, according to your manual. Without the air filter assembly on the engine, it's time to start it up. Move the throttle lever to the full throttle position and move the choke lever to the choke position. Turn the gas lever to the on position and turn the on off switch to the on position. Connect the garden and high pressure hoses to the pump and turn the water on. Pull the engine recoil rope to start the engine. If engine starts or fires, slowly move the choke lever to the off position. If the engine does not start after two to three pulls, move the choke lever to off and continue pulling the recoil rope until it starts. When the engine starts, let it run for approximately one minute. If the engine smokes out of the muffler, this is normal and should quit after one to two minutes. Now, turn the engine off. Clean the air filter base, reassemble the air filter, and place it back in position. Replace the air filter wing nut. Place the air filter cover and the wing nut over the top of the air filter assembly. Make sure the base housing is centered so the cover fits properly, and tighten the wing nut. If the unit does not start after reinstalling the original air filter assembly, you will need to replace it with a new air filter assembly. Your Mighty M pressure washer is ready to be put to work. Contact us for any additional questions 